The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome, everybody, to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. It doesn't matter where you're at, as long as you're here at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Well, we're at the very, very top end of the range uh, that options predicted. Um, and again, we may have a lot of action tomorrow. My thoughts are uh, that we may have uh, some action, to, a little bit of action to the downside. Uh, it is quad witching tomorrow. And, of course, uh, options on futures expire at 935 or five minutes after all the stocks are open in the S&P 500. So generally 935 936 they set uh, all the prices for those then we go to uh, monthly options expiration uh, of course at four o'clock that day so you get a little bit of ying a little bit of yang so look for a little bit more right now we had a market uh, that was a little weak to begin with uh, we had a lot of shorting um, before noon and now we're uh, watching i think some of those people uh, continue to be short squeezed uh, months ago, we talked about why uh, it is probably a good thing to know that you'll make money about a fourth of the time being short. The other time, the market's headed back up uh, higher. And could we be irrational? Yes, markets are irrational long after you've uh, uh, decided that uh, you are no longer solvent uh, in the markets. And they come to uh, take you away like trading places uh, and take your seat and uh, yeah, probably going out with a barrel. Um, you can still be easily thinking that you're in a bear market. And generally, this is the way it is. You get two or three days. The dish rips higher. Everybody thinks it's over. And you go right back to it. Now, can I say that? I'd feel much, much better if we ever get back down to 4,100, 4,114 and test it with lighter volume during the day uh, because generally uh, inner day lows not tested on lighter volume are generally not lows. They're just going to be revisited later one day. And it can be much later. Um, but, uh, yeah. My guess is we're going to revisit that uh, sooner rather than later, maybe in the next month. And all you have to do is go back to some of the bigger um, times in bear markets. Um, the one I think most uh, brightly about is how bad January was in 2000, only to see a fairly decent pop back into mid-March, only then to fail for the next three years until it would actually find a low. What was that low? I want to say 679 in the S&P, something like that. It was right around in there, maybe 665. Uh, May or March, March of 2003. I think that's how long it took to find a low in the markets. Of course, we had 9-11, which pushed us a little farther down that way, but uh, it wasn't looking good to begin with. And generally, when markets don't look good, yeah, the bad news comes, uh, or the bad events, too. Give me a call, 877-927-6648. We'll keep an eye on it. But, uh, yeah, the uh, everybody keeps shorting this on the way down, are now just covering it on the way up. Um, some people are buying, but I, you, I think for a great deal more, you can take a look at this and start thinking about uh, short squeezes, mostly because of the volume. Uh, we needed about 18 billion shares to break up through some of these big down days, and we've had about 14 billion. So we're a little light. Totally light? No. My guess is when we're totally light, it, that's the end, and we'll have really a big run to the downside. 
But uh, at the moment, uh, I, unless we go a little higher, I'm saying 4,400 on the high side here and 4,114 on the S&P cash on the low side. Hard to say about the NASDAQ uh, because it's a horrible index with six uh, companies making 62% or whatever it is, 58% of the entire index. And, of course, the Dow is next to nine kinds of worthless uh, with uh, 30 stocks being 96% institutionally owned. It's a, it's actually a miracle that those stocks actually change price at all. Uh, at least uh, you got 500 stocks, uh, you're pretty good into it. And if you do a, just a little back of the envelope statistics, you'll find out uh, that uh, you're talking about 360, 380 stocks. If you just randomly picked it from... Uh, trading stocks, you probably have a fairly good indication or sample size of about six or 7,000 stocks that are actively traded each day. Um, and that would give you a good taste. Doesn't mean it would be the best. But uh, nine times or nine kinds of worthless, yeah, Dow just, you know, it's more of a uh, index that can be pointed anywhere depending on what those institutional owners want to see. And, of course, uh, it's all down to probably five or six stocks on whether the NASDAQ is actually higher or lower. 666, March 9th, 2009. That was another one. I'm talking about the 2003 lows. But, yeah, that was yet another retest of the uh, March uh, 2000. I want to say March 2003 lows. What were those? Yeah. Basil, if you can look that up while I'm discussing stuff. I just remember that very vividly, mostly because I bought Apple uh, at $6 and I forget what it was, $6.56, something like that. I remember the day I bought it. Uh, everybody uh, told me it was uh, going to zero. The world was ending. It was horrible. Of course, uh, they, just a few weeks after that, ended up getting a big loan from Microsoft to help them uh, keep going because cash was a big problem in 2003, and they were burning it over at Apple. Uh, but uh, half a billion dollar loan from Microsoft helped a few things, and of course, Microsoft didn't want uh, them to be the only computer company, a large computer company left. Uh, they were under, of course, the uh, thumb of a great deal of uh, FTC uh, investigations and litigations. Uh, but uh, we'll leave. Anyway, we're doing about 8 billion shares. So is that good? Yes. Is it good enough? Probably not. Uh, are we in a bigger, wider trading range? Yes. And yeah, this is kind of at least for options uh, telling us that this is about as high as we go. So yeah, if you're thinking about going short, you probably could in here. I don't think the reason to go short has shown itself yet maybe next week and that's uh, also looking at options going ahead and into may but we shall see uh thanks for the nice emails uh we'll be back i'll read a few of those uh we'll do a little bit of uh history and uh, we'll start looking at stocks and see maybe there's some decent plays for some white lightning on options expiration Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. And we do return uh, 4394 on the last tick I show here. And uh, we'll keep a close eye on the volume, but probably a little light for up here. Options roll over on Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday's probably the next real, unless we get some kind of market moving news, which, you know, we haven't had any in so long. But it just, how could that even happen? But uh, yeah, that's it. Um, got some emails. Of course, you can follow up, too, at path at tfnn.com. Give me a call at 877-927-6648. Uh, as we uh, continue on, let's do a little bit of uh, history, and then we'll move on uh, to uh, looking at some charts and some requests out here. Okay. Uh, oh, did I do a – I didn't pray my history, did I? It's broken. Why did it do that? Then it's all just a little bit of history repeating. As uh, the uh, war generally goes on between Windows folks and, and uh, Apple folks, it uh, generally gets down to a one big fat whopping lie every time, and that is that uh, Apple and the Mac uh, Macintosh um, pioneered the uh, Windows op or the window type operating system, mouse and all that stuff. Um, on this day in 1988, Apple sued Microsoft saying that they stole a bunch of stuff. Well, <clears throat> when it got to court and finally solved uh, settled in 1995, there was a lot of video evidence that showed actually who stole. Uh, all the ideas from it, and it was uh, Apple who stole it from Xerox Park, uh, who uh, actually showed the first working system with Windows and dragged down menus and right and left mouse buttons in 1968. There's a famous uh, video uh, in um, showing the future uh, in 1968, and if I'm not mistaken. Wozniak from Apple actually was attending it. I know that they got back together in 19 or in 2008 
uh, after uh, Wozniak and Jobs met uh, Doug Engelbart, which was the head of the Xerox Park and some other stuff uh, in back in those days where he was looking at what was going to happen in the future. And, of course, uh, one of the other parts of the testimony was Steve Jobs going to Xerox Park and looking at the first available computer that actually was retail sold from Xerox in 1979. Again, they didn't know what they had. Um, most of the people at Xerox didn't care about computers. They were making a lot of money selling them Xerox machines. And more importantly, the consumables and service, because they both used a bunch of both. And half of the money uh, that they made uh, came in from um, uh, service and consumables. They made about the other half on actually selling the machines up front. Um, the razor razor blade uh, kind of business model for Xerox. And people just couldn't think of why and how people would use computers at home. A real, as they said at NASA, a uh, and continue to say, a, uh, a, a, what do they say, a a uh, lack of, uh, of uh, imagination um, on those kind of things. Oh, they're rolling out the uh, big rocket today, too, in case anybody cared. The one that's supposed to take us back to the moon. I don't know when the thing's supposed to launch or if it's supposed to launch at all. I uh, just saw that just briefly. The Artemis rocket. And uh, Artemis, actually a fairly good book too, by the guy that wrote The Martian about uh, moon bases and everybody crawling all over it and the intrigue that happens on it. Although I do think if you get a chance uh, to get the uh, one uh, called Hail Mary, a better uh, book, but both I actually liked, uh, from the same guy that wrote The Martian. But interestingly enough. Anyway, um, so if anybody ever tells you the big lie, which... Steve Jobs continues to tell uh, till his death that they actually did it, even though he was uh, eh, absolutely uh, devastated when the lawsuit when came along. Uh, the only thing I thought was funny was Xerox didn't sue them after the lawsuit, uh, after it was uh, amply showed that they actually stole it all from them. But uh, if you want to know who's responsible, the guy's name is Doug Eng uh, Engelbart. And uh, eh, if you uh, look up uh, his name on YouTube, you'll find the video from 1968 that shows everything that's going to come along. Okay, so we've got that. Uh, let's go ahead and start looking at some stuff. i uh, got a couple emails that we'll read out here uh, real quickly as we go out here. Uh, good call on the rally. Pretty close to that S&P target. Uh, they made sure to wipe out all this week's uh, expiration put holders and take out their stops. Uh, and the way it works, you never really know what was going to happen. I was thinking it was going to happen probably yesterday afternoon. It started a little earlier. So my timing was a little bit off. But uh, we have uh, John saying uh, excellent call on buying uh, gold and uh, crude yesterday uh, during the show on air. Uh, pretty gutsy. Thank you very much. Uh, other things we have out here. Uh, that we'll look at. Um, uh, take a look at FCX. See if we have anything. Uh, to, to This is for Joe. Um, you got your three soldiers. So, like I said, I don't, I'm, you know, maybe you get some kind of news thing that helps you, but I'm bet that we're probably at the end of the rope here for this week and uh you know i'm not a big i 80 percent of the time if you see a market up on expiration week on wednesday then it's down on thursday and if you're not down on thursday then generally you have a fairly uh bigger area uh to look to the downside on that friday you don't just get Wednesday, uh, Thursday, Friday up. Now, this is historical, and even if uh, it happens 80% of the time, 20% of the time it doesn't. But uh, when I was looking at uh, where we're going to expire tomorrow, it looked to me a lot more like 3350 
than it did 3,400. But again, we had a lot of people throwing on short sell positions today, probably buying puts. And that means that generally, if there's going to be a decline into Friday's close, it's probably going to be after 11, after they pulled out all the premium, uh, after they've raked in as much money as humanly possible, uh, and it goes to money heaven, will they turn around? Anyway, um, light volume, which I dislike in uh, FCX today. You have uh, an up day or a down day on the uh, 7th. Came down with 27 million shares. You're into it 11. Um, if you're in a money making position, I take the cash off and reevaluate tomorrow at 11 a.m. I uh, got uh, several things to look at here from the den, so we'll be back in a minute. Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we return, I don't have the options uh, downloaded. For, uh, today, but I'll come back to them. I'm actually adding it to my list and download them all during this segment. So maybe I'll get to them uh, during the next segment, but we shall see. Hopefully I added them in there correctly. So we'll see what's going on now that we've got the, the day halfway through. Um, can I look at several things? Overstock is the first one. Uh, O-S-T-K, right? And see what's going on there. Uh, to do, let's go back here to a little bit less. Eh, 
look for some gaps and some other stuff. So the gap is acting as support. Uh, this gapped up on a lot of volume and heavy shorting, actually very heavy shorting on the uh, 23rd. You're slightly above that. And did you really go in? Eh, you probably wound up 59 bucks. So that probably wiped out those shorts on that move up to March 1st. You're coming back here. Uh, short sellers have been pretty short supply, light volume. Uh, the problem is today, again, you don't have a lot. About a million shares so far today, 1.6 million shares yesterday. So you're through a previous low that came through or a down candle that came down with 2.3 million shares. And it's getting fairly light out here. Um, could this be an ABC on the way down? I don't think so. You had a very excellent light volume pullback from March 1st back here to March 14th with a 3.7 on my power law vector indicator compared to the 12 on the way up. So a lot less energy. Um, but I think uh, the word that everybody doesn't see and think about that I've been talking about for the last couple of weeks, including the highs off of gold and crude, where everybody sent hate mail to me for bringing up just the word of consolidation. But I think uh, if I'm wrong about being a little bit bearish here, I'm not horribly bearish because we haven't gotten a signal up here at 4,400 quite yet other than the lighter volume and that could change by the end of the day but um, <clears throat> yeah I just to me you do have the possibility and the incredible light volume up here that that's it you have a double gap at 39 and I would love to see lighter volume test that uh, to make a long-term low um, it could be a bounce um, you've got contracting signals. You'd really have liked to see the kind of volume uh, that uh, you saw at least half of the one on the 24th, about 6 million shares anywhere. Um, so more than likely consolidation. If you're along this thing back at the test of the gap at 42.39, which would be somewhere that you might have wanted to step in, um, then you can hang on your, uh, yeah, that's basically where, where your stop is. You close below 42.39. Um, so, you know, you got a possible almost uh, $9 down uh, to support. So, tough. Okay, what else do we have? So, that's the first one. Uh, LGVN. LGVN. He said, okay, uh, oh yeah, longer on, nice move out here. Um, you got your bounce up to 880, you pulled back, you didn't have a lot of volume, but you don't have a lot of volume anywhere in this thing. Uh, nice move today, not a lot of juice though. You're going back in 1.4 million shares back into 1.6. Um, my guess is, I do not know, but my guess is this is probably heavily shorted. It's just about anything that is, is bouncing today. Uh, two, 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 okay, what else do we have? I uh, don't know that much about Longveron, but uh, that's it. Okay, can we look at deer? Nothing runs like a deer. A uh, nice move up here again, light volume. This is kind of the whole market. I think most of the mar uh, juice is in people buying the EFTs and being short them and getting squeezed out. <clears throat> and you're seeing a little bit more volume on that today, but most of the equities are fairly light volume. Uh, you're going back into a four and a half, or excuse me, five and a half million share high on March 7th. So what do we have for volume today? About 1.2, let's call it 1.2 so far. So is it fine? Yeah. Can you retest uh, 405? Yes, but doesn't look that great. Um, so there may be a little bit more, but you know, I'd be if I bought at the lows back here at 260, or 362 on March 10th, uh, or even lower. I'd be thinking about time to ring the register. Okay. 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 Uh, MRO. Okay, and we'll look at that marathon. Uh, FCX. We wanted to find out about the options on it. I don't 
I don't know why this is not working. I had them in there. For whatever reason, maybe I'm not getting the data. No, well, I've got data. I'm just not getting data for FCX on the options, which I do not know why. Hmm? No? FCX? No? No options. Okay. I don't have any on those. Uh, okay. So we're back to Marathon Oil, a nice bounce. Um, you can kind of look at this ledge uh, that goes back from uh, the first days of February uh, through about the end of February. Got into that with support, uh, and it acted as support. Uh, $20.82 was the low. You got a nice bounce up here. Uh, you'd like to see some volume in the 20 million share range. You got about 15 so far. So you're probably kind of doing okay. You had some big up thrusts at 33 million shares back on the 4th. Um, so, again, I think you came off these highs fairly big. I think it's going to be the exact same thing. You're not going to race to 130 on, on gas. You're not going to run back up to the highs on gold. We've got some lows, but they're going to take some work to get through a lot of these folks that bought at higher prices. So it's probably a long grind higher. It's very hard for me to see that energy companies don't continue to do better uh, when we're, instead of using our own oil, we continue to go around to third world despots with our hat on our hand, which uh, doesn't make me happy as an American, but also makes me just fuming as a consumer. Uh, where the uh, it seems like they really want eight dollar a gallon gas, and that's here in Florida, not where it's already eight dollars a gallon in California. Uh, anyway, MRO out here. Uh, what can you say? Yeah, you got a gap higher, but my guess is that a lot of this uh, market's going to consolidate through Wednesday next week. To do, do okay. Okay, let's take a look at SD. Uh, Sand Ridge Energy, nice pop up here. No volume though. Vapor in comparison to the gap down with 2.3 uh, million shares. You're up at 500,000. Uh, if you played this for the pop, I'd be out right now. We'll be back in a minute. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Fancy ass, uh, where are the Q's uh, options pointing to on the Q's uh, for Friday's close? And man, you're you're going through pretty stiff resistance right now. Um, that's at 340, and more than likely that is the place that it uh, 340 is where it would actually um, expire tomorrow. At least that's what options are saying. Uh, the error, though, on the Qs is about three times more than on the spies. Again, because uh, they're so heavily weighted to a handful of six stocks. Um, at worst, the S&P uh, has uh, its biggest uh, hunk, I think, is 6% with Apple. And it's a little bit better uh, looking at it than anything else. You've got a, again, 440 is kind of the high end. There's a little hook. We talked about that earlier in the week. Uh, sometimes they call it a hockey stick. But, you know, they're generally not huge. They're just subtle. But there's a little crick. You can see it on both the red and the blue line, which is the puts and the calls. Both happen about the same uh, point. That's it. Now, could we have some news they're not huge, which means that they're resistance. They're not a brick wall. But I, it's hard for me to think that everybody's going to get all jiggy into the weekend. My guess is we're going to see some profit taking. Right now, we're seeing some short squeezes, and that's it. Ideally, uh, the center point for expiration um, at 440 on the S&P, we're at the very high end of uh, what you should expect. Uh, about 70% of the time, 435 is where the uh, S&Ps would expire. So we're pretty high on the, uh, right, on the uh, right shoulder of expectations on this. But again, a lot of that has to do with how many people continue to pile in and short uh, the market when generally shorting during options expiration uh, is a bad bet. Uh, but, uh, you know, weird things have happened. Or news driven, uh, and I'm not going to say uh, anything can't happen. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, we got more emails here. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay, so I got that handled. Uh, doo -doo. Um, do I like uh, PLTM here? We talked about it yesterday. On the air, and it looked up. Uh, did I do that? PL TM. Did I not do that right? Is that the right one? PLTM? Oh, platinum shares. Okay, I thought you were talking about Planeteer. Um, you got a little bounce at here. Uh, the biggest problem I have with uh, platinum right now um, and palladium and all that stuff is uh, I hear a lot about the chances of. Um, use in that 
decreasing, mostly because higher fuel prices, uh, but also of the uh, lack of tires and oil going forward for new cars, especially the tire problem uh, that I continue to hear from people that tell me who tend to be in the know and have told me stuff that has come true in the past. They warned me about, if, as I said the other day, they told me to buy tires if I needed tires or buy oil if I need to change it in the next six months. Because he said that uh, a lot of that kind of stuff is going to be very hard to come by very quickly. It's the next stuff, ton of stuff. Now, uh, the good side of this uh, is that it is on the bottom of a three-gap play. So... Maybe there's something else going on in this segment. Uh, I would be wary of it uh, because of car sales probably going down significantly, higher interest rates and production problems and beyond just chips for electronics in the dash. Uh, but my understanding is that they're going to have problems. Uh, I guess you can buy a car if you want it sitting on the steel rims. But uh, maybe there'll be a problem getting tires for cars and cut back a little bit on that. High gas prices, of course, always tend to hurt car sales, and uh, they've never been higher. So I don't know. Um, on the positive side, you've got a double gap in this thing at $11.20. It is going to go there. I'm going to say with a 85% uh, um, probability that uh, you want to have your order in at $11.15 to sell it. I see no reason to uh, not hold it if you bought it back here on the uh, low of the day at 972. Let's say someone's in this thing at 10 bucks. Um, for me, your stop would be a close below $9.72. And your target, you'd have to sit on your hands, is $11.15. But you got a double gap there. It is, that's like a magnet. Single gap's pretty good. Double gap's uh, probably. Uh, the square of that, not just uh, double. 877-927-6648. Uh, Dave, again, uh, very good call on gold yesterday during the show. Thank you, Sam. Um, yeah, uh, PLTM, uh, if that's it. A uh, question from Eddie who asks uh, if I have a strategy for Apple tomorrow, and that's generally wait until 11 a.m. Because <laughs> uh, generally they'll run it or push it or do something to it the other side. And by about 11 o'clock, the numbers will come in and it'll give me a better idea. So I don't have a strategy generally tomorrow anyway. And it being quad witching, I generally stand back and let the uh, dust settle in the morning and look for light volume moves either way and then uh, big differences between that and the options where they may push it or come up with phony propaganda style news or upgrades or that kind of stuff but generally you get a lot of those on fridays in fact there's a pretty good statistical uh thing i saw back in stocks and commodities about upgrades and downgrades on options expiration and even bigger on quad witching days uh, about uh, how many dubious upgrades and downgrades come out. So generally, I stay out of the uh, the morning mess and wait until the option premiums are pulled out and look for things that I can buy for a dime or a quarter for options. Uh, that's what I'll be doing tomorrow. Um, okay, we got PLTM. We got that. We got that. Okay, did I get anything else? Uh, look at GDX. Take a quick look at that. Um, I think you got a low. I think you got some consolidation to go through now. So I don't know what you're thinking. You've got a decent low and an ABC. But at the same time, coming off that, it's not going to just rush rush right back up to the highs. Probably got several days going sideways. If you bought it yesterday, uh, I think you got a pretty good uh, deal. Or you bought it the day before, actually. But I thought the low in gold not being able to be hit yesterday was a pretty good sign too for gold but uh, yeah probably three four days i think gold starts heading up mid next week so time to sit on your hands back in a minute
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN. Also, a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. As we return, a uh, question from the email is uh, what do I think about Goodyear Tire? Um, I don't have time to do it now. It's actually would take a little while. But what you want to do is go back into where crude prices were ultra high last time. I think that's 2008, 150 bucks, whatever it was for the high 180. Um, anyway, uh, go back and look at those dates and see how well Goodyear Tire did with uh, very high uh, prices. I don't think it, this. I don't think this is like energy companies where they're going to do well. They've got uh, about half of their business uh, contracted out to these car companies, so they're not going to be able to just raise the prices to those guys. Um, maybe they'll be able to raise prices to everybody else, but you know, there's just so much oil that goes into every tire. It uh, depends on what you have, but if you have like race tires, I used to buy. I'm trying to remember what they said, but I think it was like 50 gallons of crude to build one uh, race tire, and they were 300 bucks back then, and that was in the early 2000s. So, yeah, just uh, kind of tough to uh, look at it, but I'd check at that out. Let's take a look at it. Uh, as I said, we're at the very high end of uh, options expiration uh, things We never thought we could get here just a handful of days ago. Um, I thought it would all happen in the last couple of days. It started on Tuesday. 
Uh, but uh, very interesting action in the markets. Um, no, do I think uh, the, the bear market is over? No, I think uh, this happens a lot in bear markets. Everybody just thinks it's going back to normal. But I think you got to be, I don't know, we'll see. But I wonder how many people are going to go for the exit door come Friday afternoon as they have been many other times. And, uh, and go into gold, crude, anything else that looks safe. We shall see. Sell when you can, not when you have to. Back here tomorrow. Same bad channel, same bad.